Hello and welcome to this Olympus instructional video. In this video I will demonstrate how to update DCS Olympus to 1.0.3 to 1.0.4. We have some great new features for you such as an improved Olympus manager that will manage your installations, updates and streamline changing Olympus settings like ports and passwords. A camera function that will snap DCS's point of view to match Olympus's point of view. Great for seeing exactly what you're affected in game. We've also been working on importing a version of DCS's maps into our selection of map tiles. I'll cover updating the manager's functions and what to expect in the future when another update comes out. Let's get started. We've made significant changes to Olympus's inner workings. Therefore, you cannot update to 1.0.4. You must uninstall 1.0.3 and then install 1.0.4. Now, this is nice and easy. First, make sure to back up any changes you made to the database. This would be if you manually added units or mods to the Olympus database. They live in your saved games, DCS Open Beta, Mods, Services, Olympus, Client, public, databases, folder. If you didn't change anything to these, then don't worry. We had two ways to install Olympus prior to this new version. Via an installer and with the zip of the files that you would have extracted to the correct places yourself. If you use the installer, you'll need to remove it via the Windows Installed Apps or Apps and Features window. So open the start menu and click the settings icon which looks like a cogwheel on the left here click apps and at the top i've got installed apps you may also have apps and features uh, go ahead and click that and in the programs that appear uh, find dcs olympus kill this, this uh, ampersand on the right and then select uninstall and uninstall and then yes and then yes and then wait for the program to finish there we go if you did not install via the installer and you zip the programs yourselves go ahead and go to your uh, open uh, not your open beer go ahead and go to your save games folder uh, you'll have two folders. One will be in Mods, Services, and Olympus will be in here. And the other one will be in Scripts, and you will have a uh, Olympus hook Lua file in here that you want to get rid of. And that will be that for if you dollar. Now we undo the net shell thing that we did when we installed Olympus 1.0.3. Open an elevated command prompt by searching the CMD start menu, right clicking uh, the command prompt option and selecting run as administrator. Now type the following netsh http delete url acl url equals http colon slash slash asterisk colon and this number must be the port you selected when you did this in the first place don't just blindly copy 3001 if you actually did a net shell reserve on something like thousand that needs to be the port you actually picked uh, if you didn't if you don't know what that is it's probably 3000 or 3001 and then slash olympus put that in the description you can copy and paste run that and then you will have a system clean of olympus So proceed to the DCS Olympus GitHub page and proceed to the releases section. And here you will see the latest release or latest public release. Um, at the time uh, you get there should be B1.0.4. Uh, and once again, we will provide two options for your installation, installation, a manager version and an archived version. If you're not sure what the archive version is for, then it's not for you. 99% of you will want to use the manager version and the 1% will know who they are. Download the manager version and extract it somewhere other than your DCS save games folder. 
Documents folder is our recommendation. This app is the Olympus Manager, an app we made to assist you in managing and running an Olympus. Most of the issues people have seem to be around the setup process. Therefore, we made an app for our app that should make the process much clearer. Once you've done this, you'll see the uh, installer script in the folder you made, run the script and follow the prompts. Make sure you read them and don't blindly click through. Process will download some items, so the time it takes may depend on your internet speed. The install script will detect node and install it should it not you not already have it. Should anything go wrong, please upload your log to the Olympus Discord and describe what happened. Link in the description. And once complete, that's it. You have a copy of the Olympus Manager. And here it is. Now, before we get to the manager itself, it's useful to understand that Olympus is now set up in a similar fashion to DCS itself. We have a core folder, which is the one you just created when you installed the manager. Then we have the instances. These are installed in the DCS save game folders and are installed via the manager. Some of the improvements are that we remove the need to run DCS as admin or the need for the net shell command. We remove the need to create local firewall exceptions for Olympus. We remove the requirement for a backend port, but we left the option there for possible future add-ons. And we added a database backup function when Olympus updates. Now let's take a look at the manager. Open the manager by clicking on the manager icon on your desktop or go to the Olympus folder and open it from there. Here is the main page. On the top left, you can see the current installer version. On the top right, you have links to handy docs like our guides, social media, and expert mode if you like less hand-holding in how you manage Olympus. All right, let's look at basic mode. This is aimed at users who are less knowledgeable or confident in what these settings mean. It will walk you through everything you need to know. We have two options here, add Olympus or change settings. Change settings is grayed out because I don't currently have an Olympus um, installed in any of my instances. Therefore, we will go to add Olympus. This allows you to install your first or subsequent instances of Olympus. Most commonly, this would be if you are running several DCS dedicated servers on one machine and want Olympus installed on more than one of those servers. The manager will look in your save games folder and give you the option to add Olympus to each DCS folder it sees there. And all that is, is a folder with the layout that DCS creates when it starts. If the manager detects you only have one instance with the Olympus installed, you'll get a pop-up warning. If you click this option, you will lose any custom work you've done to this instance by adding community mods to the database. Following these steps would be like a factory reset. If Olympus detects multiple instances, it will ask you which you would like to work with and take you step by step to set this up. Note that you must close DCS prior to changing anything with a manager. So if we were to install Olympus here, I will click add Olympus. I will choose my actual save games folder. If you've only got one, you might not see this option. I will uh, read this and decide uh, what I want to do. In my case, I'm going single player only. I'm not fussed about ports and addresses, so I'm gonna auto apply settings. I'm gonna input whatever I want in these options. And next, do I want to install the camera control plugin? I do, because I think it's sick as hell. And we allow that to continue. And it was tell it's telling me that it's successful. It's saying that I can see the wiki for more information. And it's giving me some information about how to actually launch Olympus via the desktop client or via the folder in my DCS Sames Games folder. Uh, and then I can return to the main menu. Change settings. This page gives me the basic options for altering my installed instances and clicking edit settings will open a wizard that will walk me back through the changes that I just made in the installation to alter them. Uninstall Olympus will remove Olympus from that instance. It will not uninstall Olympus from your computer, just from that particular instance. 
this opening logs hyperlink here will open a notepad window with the two relevant logs, DCS and Olympus. These are the two that you will need if you're going to get help on the Olympus Discord should anything go wrong. Failure to share these logs will result in hazing. Uh, expert mode. Um, expert mode does not reveal uh, any more options than basic. It simply holds your hand less. Quicker access to the various settings. And there you have it. Finally, let's go over what happens when Olympus update is released. There is a two part process. Firstly, updating Olympus and then updating the instances. When you launch the manager, you will see a prompt to update the manager with simple steps to follow. And then with DCS closed, run the manager again. It will then notice the version of your instances are behind its own and prompt you to allow it to update them. Follow the options, it will take care of that. It's that simple. And that's all for this video. Uh, we hope you find Olympus much easier to install and update. We also hope you had lots of fun with the new DCS maps and modes we provided. Join our Discord if you have any questions or you just want to shower us in praise. I've been Lovo. Thanks for watching.